Hey folks, in today's episode, I'm going to show you something that, that I think is pretty cool. We're going to make homemade yogurt. It's not as daunting as you might think it is. It's very easy and anybody can do it. So let's go get making our yogurt. These are the ingredients that we need to make our yogurt. Three and a half liters of 2% milk, homemade yogurt starter, or store-bought plain yogurt with active live cultures. Take your three and a half liters of milk and add it to your saucepan. Now take your milk, put it on the stove on medium, and bring it to a gentle boil. This will take about 45 minutes. Now that our milk has come to a boil, we're going to let it sit until it comes down in temperature a little bit. Um, we want it to be about a uh, little bit warmer than lukewarm. You don't want it too hot, otherwise when you add your bacteria cultures, it'll kill them off. So we're gonna let this cool off a bit and then I'll see you back here when it's ready. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make a really nice granola that goes really well with this yogurt. In this bowl, I have three cups of quick rolled oats. And to this, you're gonna add your flax seed, and some pumpkin seeds. Give that a light stir. Remember to stir it as it toasts. In this bowl, I have half a cup of honey, two tablespoons of oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla. After our oat mixture is toasted, we're gonna take that honey mixture, we're gonna add it and toss it together, and then we're gonna put it back into the oven to continue to cook. So, now that our milk is cooled off, what we need to do is we need to add our starter culture. So, and what that is, is um, yogurt, plain yogurt, just from the grocery store. Don't get a flavored yogurt because it's not gonna work properly. Um, after the yogurt is completed and drained, then you can flavor it. But while you're making it, you just want a plain yogurt. So I have two heaping tablespoons full of that yogurt into here. And you just want to put a little bit of this mixture, of your milk mixture, into here and just stir it up. You're just giving it a light stir and then you're going to add it to the larger pot. Take your yogurt starter. And pour it in. Then take your spoon and just give it a gentle stir. Pop a lid on it. Put your pot with your lid in your oven and leave the oven off with the oven light on for eight to 10 hours. So folks, uh, what we have here is uh, our finished yogurt so far. Um, so what I've done is um, the eight to 10 hours was up at midnight last night. So I didn't end up filming it. Uh, just because it was just too late. Um, so what I did is after that eight to ten period, eight to ten hour period is up, you're going to want to take it and put it in the refrigerator. 
Uh, you don't want it to uh, sit out any longer than that because the longer you let it sit out, uh, the more kind of sour it'll become. So as you can see over that period of time, you can see how much that has thickened up. Look at that, isn't that something? Now you can also see uh, that there's whey uh, pooling on the surface of this yogurt. So uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to uh, line a colander with some cheesecloth. We're going to pour the yogurt into the cheesecloth to strain off the whey. We're going to hang it and we're going to let a lot more of that whey drain off so that we get a thicker, more of a Greek style yogurt. Place a bowl and a strainer in the sink. What I have here is a uh, double layer of cheesecloth. Just going to place that in the bottom of your strainer. You're gonna take your yogurt, just pour it in. Okay, so now that you've got your uh, yogurt and your cheesecloth and in the bowl, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take a wooden spoon and you're just going to lay it across the top. I'm just layering the inside layer because I have two layers of cheesecloth here and I'm just going to tie. I'm just going to tie with this one layer. Just make a nice, just make a nice sturdy knot. There you go, see? Just want a nice tight knot, double knot. You see, you're gonna hold that up and it's going to allow all that, it's going to allow gravity to drain all that way out of there and it's going to give you a really nice thick yogurt. Now take your yogurt with your wooden spoon. If you have a stock pot, you see how this works? You just fit it in and the bag is suspended over top and um, all that whey is going to collect in the bottom. Store this in the refrigerator. Uh, do this for another, I would say, another six hours until you get to the consistency that you like with yogurt. Um, and then um, uh, once that's done, we'll take it out of the bag and we'll flavor it and uh, we'll make a little parfait with it. So our yogurt has been resting in the fridge for about six hours and it's drained off quite a bit of whey. I think in total, it's probably been Oh gosh, it's probably been at least two cups of whey that's drained off this yogurt. So we're going to take it out, we're going to see how thick it is, and um, we're going to look at uh, flavoring it. So we're going to untie our cheesecloth. Take out our wooden spoon. That looks really, really, really nice. So let's get it scraped into a bowl and um, we'll taste it and see what we need to add. Now to my yogurt, I really like, it's it's very, very thick, it's really nice. So I really like um, coconut yogurt. So I'm going to add, since it's so thick, I'm going to add, um, I'm going to say it's about a half a cup of coconut milk. I'm going to add about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. 
And to sweeten it, I'm going to use some nice honey. Okay, so we're going to try our yogurt and see how it came out. Yep, that's very, very nice. It's, um, it's creamy. It's still thick, even though we uh, did the additions of the vanilla, the honey, and the coconut milk. It's sweet, but it has still that tang from the yogurt still comes through, so that's really good. So. Um, now we're going to take the yogurt, take the homemade granola, and we're going to make a really nice, pretty little uh, fruit parfait. Well, that's the end of our uh, episode for today. Thanks for sticking it out with me. We made a beautiful little treat, and I think that I'm gonna go and enjoy it. So, have a good week. Please like and subscribe and share. And also, um, please follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.